Okay, everybody. I managed to figure out a way to get a uh, decent demo. This is actually my tablet, but I was able to use a stretch and zoom feature to actually bring up the uh, the display so it's visible on my lame little camera. So I wanted to do a couple of demos here. One with uh, the Tiny G setup via network, and one via USB, so that we can get a kind of a sense of both of them. So right now, you can see the tablet's not actually connected to anything other than the wireless network. And we have our Tiny G hardware connected up to a Linux PC. Now, running on this at the moment is my Net to Serial application, which is very, very simple. It just um, pulls characters from uh, the network and passes it to Serial and vice versa. Um, I was able to use the RxTX libraries for Linux and uh, change the COM port identifier and it builds perfectly fine. So that's up and running. And so if I go over here and say connect, what I can do is I can show you real quick. I added some different capabilities down at the bottom here. The settings options give you the host name and the port obviously to uh, do a network connection then driver tells you tells it uh, whether or not you want network or USB so I've connected network and I've chosen my host name and my uh, port so then I can say connect and as you can see it did an interrogation of the uh, tiny G and pulled up the current state of the machine which is right here this is my um, quick hack of a homebrew uh, uh, CNC system. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I can actually ask it to jog different axes and not only can you see that the you know axes are doing their thing but we can actually see the motor spin and so forth as well. And it changes all of the state information on the right side of the screen. Okay, so no surprises there, right? So I'm going to tell it to disconnect. And uh, actually, let me bring that up one more time. I'm going to change settings to be the USB driver. Now, because I haven't figured out how to tell it to uh, disconnect and rebind to the different service, we need to actually exit from the application before we try to do another connect. But since I need to actually go and redo the wiring, that's not necessarily a bad thing. So I'm going to go over here, pull my USB connector off of the Tiny G, plug it into the tablet here. Okay. Fire up Android and now say connect. It asks, do I want to allow the tiny app service to access this USB device? It's a built-in security step, and you can see it's got the same state information as the last one. like a charm. So also on this new interface I can ask about the state of the system. Machine info shows some basic parameters right now. I can ask it about the different axes and the values for the for the the axes. Looks like this one didn't get initialized. Motor information and so forth and I can choose the different motors. It'll tell me the different settings. Yeah, see, we got Y, didn't get X. So if that happens, another little teeny tiny feature I got here is you can tell it to uh, refresh the status information. And now it has X. So there you go.